Carly wants me to say something. I have no idea what to say. So I'm on my way to her house right now, to Carly's house. And she's gonna help me film. I got like my stabilizer back there. I don't know if you can see it. And like uh, the tripod, uh, my mic. I don't know if I'll need it, but yeah. So we're gonna go film. And I wanna get like stuff for my YouTube channel. And maybe, maybe, maybe even stuff for like my Instagram uh, page. But I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But let's do it. What up? She forgot her phone. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready to go. The theme of this vlog is called business time. Look at how dapper. Alright. <laughs> Say hello to Chris's vlog. What up vlog? <laughs> Trying to get some footage right now with me. I look like fucking Agent Smith. Carly's right there. <laughs> She's trying to focus her camera. This is tough, man. Looking at myself in the mirror. Hey. Hey, 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 what's your new movie called? <laughs> <laughs> it's not released to the public yet. Oh my gosh. Are you Carly the vlogger? Yes! <laughs> nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Work it, <laughs> own it. <laughs> I feel like we both don't know what we're doing, which is totally fine. And I feel like that's, um, I think that's really good because everyone asks me, dude, like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, how did you create your brand? And I was like, dude, I don't know. I just, I just did it. I just started. Like, there's no plan for entrepreneurship. There's no. That's why I think it's so scary. So that's why I think entrepreneurship is so scary because there's not a plan for anything and there's a plan, 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 plan. <laughs> it's not focused. <laughs> Dang it, it like focuses and then it just like is all fuck you. <laughs> so that's, that's why I think like there, a lot of people go to the like the typical, like you go to high school, you go to college or university and you need to get a degree so you can get a job or a career. And then, you know, like there, there's a plan for that type of stuff. But entrepreneurship, so scary because there's like no, there's no plan for anything like that. There's no like, hey, this is how to start a restaurant. You know, you, there's no, there's nothing. That's why I like I 100% believe you cannot teach it in school. I feel like you just have to learn it. You just learn and just go. And it's super difficult. It's super it's super fun because while you're doing this whole thing, you just learn about yourself and you just learn about everything in the world about other people. And I think the coolest thing, and I, like I just said it, like you just learn more about yourself. You know, and you get to meet super awesome, cool ass people along the way. And you're gonna have to cut out negative people, which is hard. I'm not saying it's easy. It's simple to do, like, it's simple to say, like, hey, 
Like, think about this, think about this. Think about this real quick. Think about this, think about it. Think about all the negative people in your life. All the people that complain about their jobs, all the people that complain about, com just negative people that just are like, dude, I hate this, I wanna do this instead. Like, just think about all those people. Take a second. You got it? Okay, all those people. W imagine now, all those negative people, if they were all positive people, if they supported you in everything that you did, and everything that you wanted to do, and if you, that they were there for you all the time. <laughs> Carly. <laughs> Seriously, but listen, here's the truth. You can, you, the, the amount of energy that has to be put into negativity rather than positivity, you, it just eats away at your body, mind, and soul. So if you focus on all of that negative energy, you don't make room for that positive enlightenment that could come your way if you just focus on it rather than complaining about something that you have full control over as long as you just put in the effort. And that's what people don't want to do. They don't want to put in that extra work. Like, I feel like people, and I'm, and I'm not going to say it's money, but like most of the time it's money. Like people are allergic to money. I don't, they need to go to the doctor yeah. and get a checkup. Do they though? Some people don't believe in doctors and that's okay. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. But, I mean, but like, like still, take care of yourself so that you don't have to end up in the doctor's office, right? It, yeah, exactly. Okay, anyways, real quick, I just wanted to end it with, uh, all those negative people, what if you, they were all positive people? You just cut the negative people out. And I'm not saying it's easy, because it's definitely hard. I've definitely cut out people that are super negative. Like they just wanted to party, they just wanted to do drugs, wanted yeah, to drink. Yeah, what kind of life is that if you're just filling yourself what, with that? Which is, which is, you know, this, this, is, this is the thing. Like, if they want to do that, that's fine. That's cool. But I don't want to do that. I don't, wanna, I, don't want, I don't want that in my future. So that's why I cut them out. And yeah, I might have them on Twitter, I might have them on Snapchat, I might have them here and it's there. It's like a fine piece of chocolate. Like they're still your friends and you can you can tolerate them, but they're not on the same like wave path as you. And so why yep. would you focus energy into spending time with those people when you could be spending time improving yourself with people that want to also improve themselves? Yeah. On and the same I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a drink every once in a while and yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, I mean like But I'd I, rather like fill my body with creativity and excitement and learning new things and challenging myself in awkward situations where you can't freaking figure out a camera and <laughs> they're filming you. <laughs> I think it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. And you, you know, all this is a choice. You know, you can, you choose to who you have in your life and who you don't. That's it, man. I'm too scared. I can't even get on it. like adjust apertures in like like 0.5 seconds flat perfectly compose a photo but I guess that's photography and like cinematography is a little different because you have to you know plan things out and move with motion and that's challenging how do they do it all right so we're getting food right now at uh, DP DP can you see that DP cheesesteak Carly ran in to get a sandwich uh, we're, good. we're gonna share it. She's coming right now. Yeah, then we're gonna go on on the top of this hill And then we're gonna get like some cool footage of the sunset. It's gonna look fucking dope Here she is What kind of chips do you like? Uh, whatever honestly. Do you like salt, salt, and salt and vinegar? Salt, 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 yeah. salt and vinegar. <laughs> Yeah, those are good. Do you like sour cream and cheddar? I, those are probably like my favorite. Okay, cool, because these are the ones I picked for you. Hey. We don't have that much time. We need to get up there. Let's go Look at the sun is going down. Do we have to walk up there? No, we got to go to the avenues though. We're going to the top of I Street. We're going to the top of I Street. We're going to the top <laughs> of I Street. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right, you have to tell me where to go. Uh, the top of I Street. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>
I'm up here looking at this awesome view, this beautiful view, right? And I'm thinking, I don't know why I can't love myself. It really bothers me. And I think it's because like, I feel like I lie to myself. Like, I say one thing, but in my head, or in my head I say one thing, but like in real life, I do another thing, which is really fucking irritating. And I feel like for me, if I really love myself, I wouldn't say that. I would be honest with myself and, excuse me, I would be honest with myself and I feel like I wouldn't have things like thoughts like that, like, I don't know, like, and I feel like when I pass this little barrier, then like everything's gonna open, you know? And I feel like, cause like, fuck man, like I'm, I don't think I've ever told my parents that I love them, which is kind of frustrating, but you know, it is what it is and I'm just learning. I don't know why I always forget, like when I'm with somebody and I drop them off, I always forget to like record it, but like, I always remember to record like going into buildings, leaving buildings, getting like cool passing by shots or like, you know, but like, <laughs> I always forget to get people when they're leaving. And I don't know why, I don't get it, but whatever, you know. Anyway, Carly left, I just dropped her off and I'm gonna go home, probably look at the footage, I'll see, I feel like I have to do a lot more than just look at the footage. I think that's where I get really overwhelmed. I have so much. I have to work on the on the movement within video. I have to see, and that's where it's like, oh, he's a liar. Like he doesn't have anything. Man, there's just a lot, dude. Or maybe I just think too much. I need to get out of my head. Yeah. So follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and follow my journey to success. See ya.